Uh, no, this is not a joke. Uh, no, this is not the Acer, not the A open. Uh, this is the HP MV I'm running them off of. Yes, this is Windows XP. Um, mainly in part, I think is this little disc right here. I'm very happy I got it now. Um, anyway, uh, Okay, I don't know why it thinks it's 412. Why does it think it's 412? Okay, well, whatever the case. Must have quit keeping time. Um, before I show you that, this is not the version of Windows XP you guys are familiar with, most likely. This is Service Pack 1. So, one of the first versions of this operating system ever made. Uh, we got all the old XP programs on here, like... Alright, like, Internet Explorer 6, Outlook Express 6, um, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Media Player, MSN Explorer, uh, Windows XP Tor, uh, of course, and of course the iconic Windows XP Pinball, and it's got like a whole bunch of, of the old programs, and of course since this is a Dell CD, Dell Solution Center's right there, um, I haven't activated this copy of Windows yet. I don't know if I ever will. I only have one option, and that's to do it over the telephone, which I do not feel like doing right now. <laughs> Since this is a temporary installation, most likely. Uh, as you can see, Internet Explorer 6 is pretty much good for nothing anymore. Um, I, mean, I haven't said which channel I'm uploading this on yet. Probably junior, but <laughs> who knows? Okay. Um, pretty much nothing works on Internet Explorer 6. You'll be lucky if any of these other websites work. I haven't tested this one. I haven't ever seen this error before. And that's new. Usually it just comes up like this, but I've never seen it. Like I've never seen this happen before. Weird. Right, let's try and Google. Is it the same thing with that? No, it just it doesn't find it. Uh, wait, I might even not. I might not even be on the internet. Well, I think it's four fourteen. It is clearly not. It's actually 547. Well, it might actually be 546 because that's probably the end of the head. Um, oh, and let me not forget about this. The actual tech specs of this installation. It's only a 10 gigabyte hard disk. So it's pretty, it's, it's rather small. Uh, I can't get this thing quite shaken. Uh, Yeah, service pack one, 256 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it detects the processor from the actual NV computer, the actual laptop. No, it's not like some special processor at all. Anyway, and I especially, I got like, everything's like so right on here. And of course, like the screen resolution too, I got set on 1280 by 1024. Which is the maximum that this monitor supports if you, which is like pretty much the maximum this monitor supports if you want it like to stretch the whole way, like fit on the entire screen. Um, anything more or less, it does not look good, especially if you try doing 1600 by 1200. That does not look good at all. Whatever the case. Um. If I find out about 1600 on 1200 maybe being available with this monitor, I might put it on there. But I'm probably not doing that. <laughs> so, and of course, uh, this is a full-blown XB installation. Even though it's Service Pack 1. But yeah, it's Windows Media Player 8, in case I didn't mention that. And of course, the older XP Movie Maker. So it's missing a lot of the features that the newer one has. Um... 
Yeah, I also tried. I tried putting POS Ready 2009 on here as well, but whenever I tried installing it, it it blew screens. Whenever I tried to start it up after the installation, like I've tried everything, it won't work. This fortunately works, but I only get to use it for 30 days unless I call up Microsoft if I want to use it forever, which this is only a virtual machine, so. <laughs> Uh, not really. And just so you know, I'm using a, a Oracle uh, Virtual Box. Um, I have VMware Player on here too, um, which I don't use it at all. I don't. I, I try to get it so I could try to use POS Ready Nine on it, but I get even. It stops even earlier in the process. It won't even go to setup. It just it won't load at all. This, uh, the POS ready on VirtualBox, it'll go to the, it'll set up and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Microsoft did themselves say it's not designed for virtual machine use, but still, <laughs> this XP is working fine though. XP Service Pack 1. Is it? Awesome. Thank you, Dell Disk. I kind of like the color they used. And yeah, it's XP Home Edition. I almost forgot to tell you that. And if I had a disc, I would have put 3 on it, but I, I don't. I'm, I might consider putting 8.1 on the virtual box as well. But it might not work because it's I think it's a 64-bit disc. So, I'm going to... Uh, also, in order to get the HP to the monitor, I had to use like a complex little tool. This is a VGA to HDMI adapter. This is a VGA monitor. This is HDMI only computer. So, uh, as you can see, standby is not an option on this computer or this virtual machine. So, When we turn off restart. Hey, well, we're gonna turn off. Uh, we're gonna. Turn, um, yeah, I wonder how much it says for the. Uh, I wonder if it detects my drive. I uh, since I was able to install it directly from the CD. Uh, it says it's a CD drive. I, I don't know what it thinks about. Yeah. Uh, it just says CD drive, which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, this much just probably just reminds me of how much I miss Windows XP. <laughs> of course, I have the A open to do it on too, but that takes a long time to get that ready. And of course, the Acer is not an option anymore. <laughs> this, is just, this is not even working. Look at that. It just freezes up. Yeah, and. End program. <laughs> this virtual machine is all messed up. And I don't send an error report. I don't even know if it's gonna <laughs> for real. Let's go to system. Uh, I try putting Flash Peak Slim Jet I have on the A open on here. But since this is Service Pack 1, it obviously doesn't work. Uh yeah, most likely it's service pack one. If this was service pack three, it'd be working perfectly. Today, open was service pack three. Um, I, I, I really apologize for all the shaking. I am a very low budget recorder. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm using an iPhone 6, of course. I just updated it to iOS 11, so. Um, There. I'm trying to go with something else. And I'm not using the tech net, of course. Uh, yeah, it says activation pending. 26 days remaining. And the next time it lets me, next time it tries to make me do it, I maybe I'll finally get around calling up Microsoft. Oh, uh, it says I'm on Pacific time. <laughs> Who cares? Hang on, I'm on Eastern. Uh. VirtualBox BIOS is from 2006, it says. 
And although it says copyright 2015 when you try to start it up. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, 255 microbytes of RAM. Um, you can round that up to 256. Uh, I wonder what it says for the graphics. display oh okay it doesn't even say uh, uh. <laughs> okay it doesn't even say uh, a lot of this stuff is missing because it's a virtual machine so it does not uh, detect it most usually uh, the only thing it really detects about this computer is the fact that it's a <laughs> core i7 and I set it up for a different way uh, yeah so, XP Service Pack 1. Yeah. Probably the most useless service pack. Most useless version of XP there is. <laughs> With the exception of XP RTM, which is lost now. Uh, uh, virtual box. It does detect that this is a virtual box. And a tech GMBH. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. The only thing it says about, about the actual computer is that it's uh, Core i7. Let's see what happens when we try ejecting a disk drive. Does it actually pop open? Yes, it does. So it will actually, you can actually open the actual disk drive from here. Just cool. Okay. I think we're pretty much done today so we're going to turn off the virtual machine there we go windows is shutting down it's not supposed to take long it's not supposed to take this long disc of course is from 2003 so sort of like one a it says Okay, I'm not going to record this thing showing that. Okay, and we're back on the Windows 10 desktop. <laughs> See, it's a virtual machine. That's what I use. Not that. I don't, I don't use that. <laughs> That's the POS Ready 2009 ISO. So. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the longest video I've ever done on this channel.